Hi guys and welcome to the next episode of my camper van build series and in this week's video I'm going to be covering the plumbing side of the build. First of all let's talk about water storage. So here I have my 70 litre Fiamma fresh water tank. You've probably seen these before, they're really commonly used in self build camper vans. Um, it's a really versatile design so you can mount this tank in lots of different orientations. You've got this large cap on it which you can use as a filler cap if you didn't want to cut a hole in the side of the van for a lockable filler cap. And the good thing about this is that you can get your hand in here to give it a good clean out every once in a while. Even with fresh water in the tank, over time you get like a slime build up. So it's important to drain the tank out every once in a while and just give it a thorough clean inside here. It also makes installing tank connectors really easy because you can get your hand in here to tighten them up. Another nice feature about this tank is it's already got the hose connections here so you can connect up your fill point uh, with a nice flexible hose and a jubilee clip and also you're going to want a vent um, and I'll talk about that a bit later on when I come to install the filler cap and the air vent. I may not do that in this video because I haven't ordered the hose yet but yeah you need to make sure you have a vent because when you're drawing water off of the tank you need to replace that water with air or else you'll end up collapsing the tank. I think 70 litres is a good size for a fresh water tank and it's a nice budget option. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get one of these water tanks. I'm not sponsored by Fiamma at all, I just think this is a good product and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to be installing this water tank in the garage area in the van um, but first of all I need to make a framework for it to sit on. The next step is to drill a hole in the bottom of the tank for this tank connector. It's just a 15 mil push fit tank connector. Load of screws in this so it's really strong now. Um, here are the cables for the water pump. Here I have my water pump and accumulator set up. At this end of the system we'll have our water tank. Straight after the water tank we've got an isolation valve. That's in case we have a leak on the system we've got a nice convenient place to isolate uh, the water tank so it doesn't flood the van. From the isolation valve the water goes through this sediment filter and into the pump and this is a Fiamma Aqua 8 pump 7 litres per minute and one and a half bar so after the pump we've then got our accumulator this is essentially a buffer vessel inside here you've got a rubber diaphragm uh, which is like a balloon and you pump this up to just below the pump cutting pressure here it says 0.2 bar below the water pump cutting pressure and this is essentially to store some of the system pressure so that the pump isn't constantly cutting in and out every time you open the taps. So it reduces wear on your pump and it also gives you a more regular flow out of the taps. If you didn't have this, it may be pulsing out of the tap, whereas when you've got this, because it's already built up a little bit of pressure in the system, it should be a much smoother flow out of the taps. Then after the accumulator, we've then got another isolation valve and that's so we can isolate each side of the pump set if ever we need to change any of these components we can do that without draining the whole system and then after this isolation valve we can tee off to our shower mixer the kitchen taps and i also want a cold feed to my hot water system which i'm going to be working on in a later video so please don't forget to stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you're not already and if you click the alarm bell you'll get notifications when i post new videos so before I install this pump set, I need to adjust the accumulator pressure. It says adjust air pressure in tank 3 psi 0.2 bar below the water pump cutting pressure. The cutting pressure of this water pump is 1.5 bar, so I need to adjust this to 0.2 bar below that, so 1.3 bar. So I'm just going to pump this up now. It 
So there we go, we can see on there it's about 1.3 bar. So I can take this off and go fit this pump set in the van. I'm now gonna stick the sink in. So let's take it out for the moment. Drop it in place. Here's the tap and it's gonna go in the corner there. So I'm going to drill my hole through. I've also got a soap dispenser I want to put in um, and that's just so you don't have bottles of washing up liquid uh, rolling around on the worktop so you don't have to worry about it, you just fill up this bottle here. I'm going to drill through uh, a hole for the waste to go through the floor. Right, I now need to fix this worktop in place. And um, that's going to be a bit tricky because I can't get any screws up through here. So I'll have to go through this way into the edge. And then on the end, I can screw it up under here. I'm going to install the pump set underneath the water tank so we've got a gravity feed to the pump and then it'll go off to all the water supplies. Here we've got our pipe work to the kitchen sink and then I've got to run my pipe work over to the shower mixer here and then to the hot water system which is going to be in this corner here. So it's really easy to use this push fit stuff. I'm just using some secateurs for cutting the pipe um, and it gives you a nice clean cut. This is the cold feed and I want to tee this off here. So let's cut this back to about there, like that. Get one of these pipe inserts, put that in the end. And then we get our push fit connector, unscrew it, push it on and then tighten it up. Just like that. All that's left to do is wire up my water pump. These are some wires I ran earlier and then we can put the water tank on, fill it up and test it out. So the cold water feed comes from the tank into the pump here through the accumulator. It then tees off, goes to the shower mixer and then it goes to the kitchen taps through this service void underneath the kitchen cupboards. And then it also comes back here to the hot water system to feed that. And then off the top of the hot water system, we're going to have our hot water supply teeing off there, going to the shower mixer and through to our kitchen taps. So underneath the kitchen sink, we've got our pipes coming through the bottom here, up to an isolation valve, and then into the taps. I've also plumbed in the kitchen waste with this U-bend here, and then that drops out through the bottom of the van. So that's the water tank connected up. I can now put some water in it and try it out. Start off with a little bit just in case we get a leak. Looks good so far. Right, I'm going to start the water pump and hopefully we don't get any leaks. Let's fill in the system. Okay system is pressurized. I'm really pleased with that. It's a nice water pressure. And the good thing about this tap 
is we can change between the shower setting and just normal. So that you can open this side door. Swing this around. And then have an outdoor shower. You can also test out the shower mixer. I don't want to try it in the shower tray at the moment because the silicon's still drying. Look at that. Fairly powerful. That'll be quite a nice shower. One thing I forgot to show you about this tap, it's got this extendable nozzle, which I think is gonna be really handy for rinsing things off outside and rinsing the plates off. So I'm pleased with that tap. It's made by Home Heng. It's got this nice satin black finish. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get one of those if you like the tap. Um, thank you for watching as always. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd consider subscribing to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you to all my existing subscribers for following the build so far. Um, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Take care.